We've all got that unique skill or talent that people know us for. For some people, it's writing or computer skills. For others, it's street art. And wow. <laughs> Some of those street artists are just incredible. Sometimes it's hard to believe that something was produced by hand. From a subway station masterpiece to interactive art, here is some amazing street art that is at another level. Number 15, Giant Skeleton Appears in Street. If you happen to be strolling down one of the central streets of the Tlawick neighborhood in Mexico City without paying attention, you might have gotten the fright of your life. A giant skeleton, seemingly out of nowhere, pushed its way up through the road from under the ground in an attempt to take over the streets. Or so artists would have you believe. In 2019, a cardboard skeleton created by local artists was set up with construction rubble to make it look like it really was breaking through the ground. Local residents were in awe, but they certainly weren't surprised. Instead, something amazing like this was kind of already expected, especially since the Day of the Dead celebrations were just around the corner on November 1st and 2nd. The annual festival is one that many Mexican people recognize as a way to celebrate the lives of those departed. The skeleton was just the precursor of what was to come. Some impressive parades, like the Katrina Parade. One of the largest parades is held in Mexico City. However, it's also celebrated in other places like Monterey. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. With talent and imagination, you can do a lot. That much is clear by this image we were sent that showed the talents of an incredible artist in Barcelona. It shows a car parking area with cars seeming to park normally. However, one on the end appears to be sunk into the ground in a giant puddle of water. Or is it? Could it just be that an artist is incredible with paint and technique? We'll let you be the judge. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14, Gregor Vocic Optical Illusion. When you're walking down your local busy city street, you don't expect to fall into a waterfall. But if freelance artist Gregor Vocic has been in town, that's more of a reality than you might think. Gregor is a street painter and an incredibly talented one at that. The Polish-born man lives in Germany as an artist and has some fantastic visions for 3D street paintings. In the center of one busy street, he crafted what looked like a real waterfall. The road looked like it abruptly ended in concrete concrete blocks with water cascading down the middle. Many people took photos with the waterfall, making it look like they were falling into it, but he can do more than just waterfalls. Gregor has created many other street art pieces, like white water rafters on waves, a bridge above a river, and even grasshoppers and iguanas enjoying city life. Gregor always considered art to be his favorite hobby, but he didn't just want to do it behind closed walls. He wanted everyone to see and enjoy it. Alongside brightening up city streets, Gregor was also one of six artists who formed the largest outdoor 3D image. Number 13, the title murals. Almost anyone can walk down a city street and create art on a wall. Whether or not the cops are called for vandalism remains to be seen. Although it takes a real go-getter artist to create works of art in hard to reach places. Sean Yoro is the type of artist you see work by and say, how on earth did he get all the way over there? He sees potential in the strangest of places and often in areas that are not exactly easy to access. But that doesn't seem to bother Sean. With his paddle board and a bucket of art supplies, he navigates his way to those tricky places and creates some astounding artworks and hyper-realistic portraits. Hey, then on the painting, um, we got the sketch done. And I started to block in the face. 
When you see a rusted old ship sitting in the water, you probably don't see beauty or potential, but Sean does. He paddled out to an abandoned old rusty ship and painted a woman with an arm outstretched into the water. He called it Hoi Mai, which means come back, alluding to her reaching gesture. He has also created some stunning works on underpasses and in bodies of water that no one would think of entering just to paint. Number 12. Insane 51 Hidden Art There's one thing you wouldn't call the street art by Greek muralist Insane 51, and that's normal. His artwork is anything but normal, which is perhaps why he has fans from all around the world. The Athens-based artist was undoubtedly a pioneer of 3D art. He began his career as a graffiti writer, but hasn't looked back. Now, he creates a double exposure 3D art that takes on more than one form. I always thought that painting of such a piece must be some kind of a miracle. It takes a real genius to even think of creating something like that. The double exposure component of his artwork means that, depending on the light, it'll be one thing or another. For example, in one of his pieces, you see a wolf if you put a red light on the artwork, but you'll see a girl if you use a blue light. His incredible works have seen him appear in famous festivals around Europe, such as the Thessaloniki Street Art Festival and the Low Bart Festival. He even stepped out of his comfort zone with two canvases for street art today in Amsterdam, the largest street art museum in Europe. You truly have to see his works for yourself to understand how amazing they are. Number 11. Tom Bob Reinventions it can be hard to make your average city street pretty. There are so many necessary things like electric meters and utility hole covers that don't exactly scream aesthetically pleasing. Rather than paint them to blend in with their surroundings, though, there isn't a lot you can do. Well, tell that to Tom Bob, because he's found a way to beautify the most unusual things. Tom Bob is a street artist that most people don't know much about. He doesn't have much of an online presence, nor does he shout about his craft from the rooftop. But you know know he's in your area when you start seeing his colorful creations around New York, Boston, Massachusetts, and other prominent regions. The New York-based designer's artworks are on a small scale, but they are made to stand out. He turns simple plumbing fixtures into snakes, maintenance holes into musical attractions, and electric meters into fun animals. There's simply no limit to his imagination. He's that good that he even attended the three-day music extravaganza in New York, the Governor's Ball, to participate in the Governor's Ball mural project. Number 10. Kharkiv Mural Impressive murals are painted all around the world, often with the goal of turning a previously ugly structure into something you actually want to look at. It's such a big deal that there are even competitions and collections, like the collection of best street art supported by the I Support Street Art movement. In this collection, murals are displayed from all around the world, such as from Europe, Australia, China, India, America, Malaysia, and India. I feel like we already... whatever. However, one entry in particular from the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv ended up being quite the head-turner. It was painted as part of the Mural Fest 2017 in the city and featured on a 15-meter-high building at 79 Plekanivska Street. The intricate design was put together by Polish graphic artist and architect Mariusz Varas, who also goes by M-City. One of the festival's organizers had asked Mariusz to come to the event, and he agreed, even though the weather turned out to be awful for creating his masterpiece. With a hydraulic crane and all the tools of the trade, he quickly turned a drab building into an incredible work of art. Number 9. Bowie Portrait at Subway Station in 2018, many people's daily commute through New York's Broadway Lafayette subway station became a walk down memory lane. Instead of staring at ordinary white tiles while waiting for your transport to arrive, you got to view a massive portrait of David Bowie on the steps leading into the station. Pictures of David performing, posing, or just being David also lined the subway station walls, allowing people to take a break from their hustle and bustle to just enjoy a great musician. But these art pieces weren't put there just because a cheeky artist liked David Bowie, even though who wouldn't like David Bowie? Instead, it was a planned artwork collection organized by the Brooklyn Museum and Spotify. 
At the time, around 400 objects, like handwritten lyric sheets, costumes, photos, and vinyl, were on display at the Brooklyn Museum, all in the name of celebrating David Bowie. The Subway Takeover, as it was called, was a massive hit with the daily commuters, especially when some limited edition Metro cards were being handed out. I'm not going to sell them. The word is that they're selling it for eBay. These would give commuters free entry to the main exhibition. Number 8. ROA's Trapped Creatures When you become an artist, you normally have a specialty, or so I'm told. You might strive to create artwork in hard-to-reach places, or turn everyday street utilities into some funky art pieces. For Belgian-born graffiti artist ROA, his is about bringing attention to the interactions and connections between humans, nature, and the environment. The way he does it is truly incredible. ROA paints wild and urban animals with a minimal color palette like black and white. He has contributed to many beautifying projects around the world, such as in Africa, Asia, Australia, the United States, Europe, and New Zealand. Most of the time, ROA creates massive black and white pictures of creatures like elephants, birds, rabbits, snails, and foxes. But sometimes he thinks outside the box and uses colors that depict the internal systems of animals and birds. In most situations, his works are well received, though he did have one run-in with local authorities. He painted a rabbit, legally may I add, on a wall of the premises studio on London's Hackney Road. The 3.5 meter high rabbit was incredible, but the Hackney Council threatened to paint over it. Fortunately, local residents and the building's owner forced them to change their minds. Number 7. Cosimo Kaifa's Interactive Street Art as much as you might try and make your local streets beautiful, it's not always possible. Hanging flower baskets and installing a few public bench seats can't always do the job. But I'll tell you who could do the job, and that's Cosimo Kaifa. Cosimo is a street artist from Milano who takes art to an entirely new level. Rather than stick with flat wall murals, he makes his artwork come alive in 3D form simply by playing with perspectives. He can span his artwork across buildings, around corners, and into environments. He'll use what's already there and incorporate it into his artwork without even lifting a paintbrush. This guy is genuinely incredible. The unique thing is, from one angle, his artwork can look terrible, as in deformed and not at all how you'd expect it to look. But view it from another angle and all that changes. You come to understand what he was trying to achieve. Some of his best works include a man appearing to paint a pedestrian crossing. Another shows a man under a bridge, appearing to paint the bridge to create that area underneath it. You really do need to see these in person to truly appreciate them. Number 6. Augmented Reality Art by Leon Keir to say that Leon Keir is one of the best anamorphic street artists in the world is an understatement. He is a world-leading street artist. That much is proven by the fact that countries around the world have brought him in to execute some of his finest work. Leon has traveled around Europe, Mexico, the United States, Russia, Asia, and the United Arab Emirates, and even Australia and New Zealand to produce some outstanding works of art that everyone can appreciate on their local streets. While street art is undoubtedly one of his passions, he has more than one talent. Leon can also produce murals, paintings, and other art projects depending on people's needs. If you are alone, that's then, then the best thing is to make a movie. According to the bio on his website, Leon's artwork reflects his thoughts while also confronting the viewer with the diseased spirit of our times. All his anamorphic paintings are temporary, but they are always shared far and wide across social media platforms. Leon says that every street art piece is unique and belongs to the street and its residents. The temporary fact about this art form strengthens its existence. Number 5. Adam Fu Glow Style Every artist has their own unique style and ends up gaining a reputation for it. Adam Fu, an artist and product designer working in Brooklyn, New York, takes the idea of unique style to an entirely new level. In recent years, he's made a name for himself creating neon-style work. You know those open signs you see in local diners' windows? Yeah, that style of art. But he doesn't use technology or electricity. Instead, he uses his talents to paint art that looks just like it's neon. My work always begins small. 
and the results are incredible. It always begins on paper or a napkin or the iPad. Most of the time, Adam uses his beautiful neon art to address issues like corporate greed, gender issues, women's rights, and political statements about the Trump administration. You can find his works across Brooklyn and New York, and you just know they come from none other than Adam Fu himself. Adam has been writing graffiti for close to three decades. He started in San Francisco in the 1990s before moving to New York City in 2001. Now he's a full-time designer, artist, and host and creator of a podcast called My Life in Letters. Number 4. Dalston House, London Art doesn't always have to be about paint and chalk. It can also be about getting creative with angles, reflections, and people. That is exactly how Argentinian artist Leandro Ehrlich forms his art. In 2013, you may have been quite shocked while visiting Hackney to see people scaling a large two-story house. While it might have looked like people were hanging off the building, they were actually lying on the ground. The Dalston House was a temporary art installation by Leandro that consisted of a reconstructed house facade in a face-up position, lying flat with a mirror installed over it at 45 degrees. And in London this time, I think that uh, this, and because of the... When someone walks over that house lying on the ground, the mirror reflects their image onto the wall, making it look like they're actually clambering all over a house. People were excited to get creative with the art, with some people looking like they were dangling from windows or balancing on the building's cornices. The Barbican Gallery commissioned the creative artwork, and it was open to the public as part of the London Festival of Architecture for several days. Number 3. The 3D Zebra Crossing Local residents in schools of St. John's Wood in Westminster, Camden, were concerned about their safety at a pedestrian crossing on one of the area's busy street. Not all traffic would slow down for pedestrians, and there was a genuine concern that someone would end up getting hurt. Westminster City Council heard this district's concerns and came up with a plan to hopefully fix the problem. They installed the UK's very first 3D zebra crossing. In 2019, the zebra crossing was painted over the original one in a 12-month trial. The goal was to see whether the 3D effect would cause people to slow down and be more aware of their surroundings. The 3D effect had been trialed in other countries with great success. A similar one in New Delhi, India had resulted in average speeds dropping from 31 miles per hour to just 19 miles per hour. The AA said it was worth a try, but did warn that just because it was successful elsewhere didn't mean it would be successful in London because of how their roads are designed. Would you slow down if you saw a pedestrian crossing that looked like it was leaping out at your car? Number 2. Akash Nihalani Playful Street Art Interactive art you see on your commute to work always has the potential to brighten up your day. After all, how often do you get the opportunity to actually interact with art? Normally, it sits on the wall with a Do Not Touch sign. Akash Nihalani is changing all that. This New York artist transforms regular outdoor spaces into fun and playful art installations. And his artist tool of choice? Tape. He invented this unique form of street art that seems to be a real hit with people because of how it looks like a magic trick or optical illusion. One of his latest projects is called Landline, which is about color passing through people. Trying to show it to somebody, and if not, if you can't put it up anywhere, you pack it. He uses tape, fluorescent paper, corrugated plastic, a magnetic hanging system, and a t-shirt to form the art. With people positioned in the right way, the artwork looks like it's passing through people's bodies. Akasha's goal with Landline is to encourage people to examine their insides and connections. It looks like it's a visual representation of people's isolation and community spirit, both of which are quite common in large cities like New York City. Number 1. Kurt Wenner's 3D Pavement Art Many artists have gotten involved in creating 3D pavement art. It almost seems like you can't enter any large city without seeing at least one piece of 3D artwork that captures your attention. But there's one man who started it all, and that's Kurt Wenner. Kurt invented the concept of 3D pavement art, which quickly created a buzz on social media platforms around the world. Before long, everyone wanted to get involved in this unique form of art. At that point in space, the artwork combines with its environment, with the entire shopping center. 
It all began for this American artist when he started learning about the European tradition of street painting while living in Rome. He decided to add some perspective, which is when he began transforming classic street art into 3D pavement art. Now, his work is displayed in 30 countries around the world, but he doesn't just earn a name for himself with his art, it's also the message behind many of his pieces. He takes on a lot of cause-related work to draw awareness to problems. For example, he created art about the Colorado River running dry and about genetically modified crops and the historical day when Europe stood up to it and said no. I'm not gonna lie, I've just managed to master the stick figure with a pencil, and these people are creating these astounding masterpieces. I just don't get it. It's hard to believe they're even possible. Which one was your favorite? Have you got any amazing street art in your neck of the woods? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!